Hi, my name is Tim. Bullet points for lists are a common feature in almost every word processor. In addition to traditional bullet points, some word processors allow you to use graphics and images for bullet points. LibreOffice has many graphics and images to choose from, or you can use your own. This video is the fourth one in a series about the Customize tab or Options tab, as it is called in some operating systems of the Bullets and Numbering dialog in LibreOffice Writer. It will demonstrate how to use graphics provided by LibreOffice or how to use your own graphics as bullet points in lists. It will also cover the other settings when graphics is chosen in the number drop down menu. To quickly review from the first video, one of the ways to open the dialog is to click on the format menu then click on the bullets numbering item that's in that menu. Click on the customize or options tab if it's not already selected. Then set the level box to the level you want to change the bullet style of. This list has three levels so you can select levels one two or three to change that individual level. There can be up to 10 levels in a list. If all the levels need to have the same graphic, choose one through 10. Then in the number drop-down menu for graphics, you can either choose graphics or link graphics. Graphics are directly inserted into your document. A link graphic is not inserted directly into to the document as a bullet point. Instead, a link is created to where the graphic is located in your computer's directory. When you open the document, the graphic appears where it is linked in the document. The main advantage of link graphics is that if you make changes to the graphic, they will show up when you open the document. The disadvantage is if you move graphic in your directory, the link will be broken, and the graphic will no longer appear in your, your document. The settings that will be covered in this video are graphics, width and height, and alignment. The graphics drop-down menu has two choices, from file and gallery. From file opens the dialog that allows you to choose a file from your computer's directory. Graphics need to be very small to be a bullet point. The largest graphic from the gallery is our 0.3 inches high or wide. Changing the width and height will be covered in the next section of this video. The gallery menu in the select drop-down menu list graphics that are included with LibreOffice. An image of each graphic is next to its path. Choose the desired graphic and click on it. Then click the OK button The graphic is now a bullet point. For the width and height text boxes, click on the number in either box. Double click the number if you want to type in a new number. Otherwise, use the up and down arrow buttons to change the number by 0.5 per click. If you want to keep the image proportionate to its original size, click the keep, keep ratio box to put a check in it. 
you can see the graphic change in size in the preview box to the right. The alignment drop down menu has nine choices. Each choice changes the vertical alignment of the graphic. The choices are top of baseline. A baseline is the number where your characters rest. Center of baseline, bottom of baseline, top of character, center of character, bottom of character, top of line, center of line, and bottom of line. Click the desired one. After you're done, click the OK button. The chosen graphic is now a bullet point and it's set at the alignment that you chose. This video has been about the settings in the Customize or Options tab and the Bullets and Numbering dialog when Graphics or Link Graphics is selected in the Number drop-down list. Thank you for watching. Click on the Subscribe to OS College channel box. You also can check out the other videos in the series by clicking on them in, in the list. Also click on the link to go to the OS College website and learn more about lists or about other aspects of, of LibreOffice.